Facebook ads versus Google ads, which one's going to be the best for a local small home service business. I'm going to break these down for you so you can determine which one's going to be the best one for you. Now, one thing you need to understand about these two platforms, it's like comparing an orange with a watermelon. They can go together in a fruit basket, but technically they're two separate fruit. So you have to treat them a little bit different. In order to really break this down and give you a solid understanding of which one's gonna be the best one for you, it's important to understand what people and the population is doing. So what you see here is going to be a diagram of a pyramid and you can you can go check this out. This is what sticky branding is where I got this image from. But basically what's happening here is that the market is segmented in two separate areas, a top 10 percent and a bottom 90 percent or a lower 90 percent of people within this top 10 percent of people. There's only three to five percent within that top ten percent only three to five percent of people ever ready and actively buying your services whether that is carpet cleaning whether that is roofing whether that is auto detailing whether that is concrete pouring pool cleaning services etc only about three to five percent of those people are ever actively looking to buy your services the other five percent of those ten percent have intent to buy, meaning they, they at some point they probably are gonna buy, but they're not doing it just yet. And the lower 90% really includes people who uh, don't need your service right now, but they may need them next week. And they may need them in a week after that. They may need them in a whole month. And it also includes people who really don't have a need for your services uh, at all or don't even know that they need those services. A perfect example of this would be roofing, right? Nobody knows that they have a leak in the roof until they have a leak in the roof, right? So they don't even know that they need that service just yet. And then there's always going to be other people who are just not going to be interested in people who are never going to buy from you, uh, period. Okay, here is what happens with Google Ads. Google Ads only targets that 3 to 5% of people who are actively buying right now. Okay, you cannot target those people who possibly have intent. I mean, you could, but most people aren't doing that because they're very expensive. Um, and so they're typically only going after those three to five percent of people who are active buyers. Now, because you're going after such a small pool of people who are active buyers with Google ads, you are going to spend more money on that advertising channel. The leads are going to be higher on that advertising channel and your competition is going to be greater because you're going to be competing with other people in your similar situations who may have larger budgets for the same type of company, the same type of leads uh, who are also looking to get in front of that three to five percent of people who are actively looking to buy right now now because you're targeting people who are actively looking to buy the three to five percent your sales process can be a little bit lackadacious okay so you might get a call you might return that call back in 30 minutes you might return that call back in an hour and you still might close a bunch of people you still might do very well even with a weak sales process with no proper uh, sales technique and with people who aren't very good at sales because you're getting in front of people who are actively buying the three to five percent but again you're going to spend a lot more per lead now the blue box in here represents all the people that you can target with and get in front of with with facebook ads so you can still reach those people who are actively buying 3%, but you're also going to reach all the other 90% of people. You're also going to reach the people who may be not ready to buy right now, maybe in a week. Those people who may not even need uh, your services and those who need your services but don't even know that they need your services just yet. So there's a lot of opportunity to reach people before they even know that they need those services so that they know that you're an option. Okay, by the time they reach Google and they start to search for a roofing company or plumbing company or junk removal company or whatever, those people already know that they have that problem and chances are they're going after two or three or four or five different uh, lead companies or companies themselves and whoever responds to them the first is going to win. Now with both these mediums, the better your sales process, the better your automation on the back end, the better and the faster your response to people, the higher your conversion rate is going to be. Now. Let me kind of give you another diagram in here to kind of illustrate things a little bit better. This picture right here of the Legos is the population. 
The red box represents the three to five percent of people who are actively buyers right now. This is who you should be targeting, who you can target with at Google. Okay, that's it. That leaves about 90 percent, 80 to 90 percent of the other people who could be new customers tomorrow, who could be ready to buy the next day, who could be having that conversation of purchasing with their spouse right now, but aren't necessarily ready right now and are moving into that ready bucket in a couple weeks, next week, you know, the following day, etc out of the picture because you're only targeting the three to five percent you're paying a premium for them and um, the lead is going to be a little bit higher now with Facebook you target everyone in this bucket and the downside to this is that you can also target those people who will never buy from you people who are not only are they not ready to buy right now but you target the people who will probably never buy from you to begin with right uh, but you're able to also target those people who are active buyers but a large percentage of those people are going to be people who are not ready to buy right now but they're going to be ready to buy um, based on you know their need in the next few days in the next few months and you're allowed to build those relationships in order for them to buy from you all right i'm going to give you an example right here with some actual data this is an account that we've got here and as you can see there are about 18 to 20 records showing on this page maybe a little bit less than that and what you see here is all those that have numbers all these people that have phone numbers are active buyers these are people who saw our ad on facebook and said hey i'm looking for this kind of service i'm in you know the, the i'm in the active buyers list here's my information let's go let's move forward let's schedule them out but as you can see about 80 percent of the other people are not active buyers some of these people are saying we're not ready to buy right now oh gosh i didn't even know that i needed to do this thing can you explain more about how this works and we are following up with them and doing our due diligence so you can kind of see that if for this specific type of service we're generating leads at about 10 to 12 bucks a pop and on google the exact same lead is about 45 dollars more or less so now with google you could probably say well for every one person that I, for every five people that i speak to i may close one but that's because they're in a buying mindset and on facebook you may say well for every 10 people that i speak to i may close one that's because you're also getting in front of those people who are not ready to buy yet now one of the advantages of facebook versus google is that typically the cost is going to be a lot less it's going to be harder to scale a google campaign with a smallish budget where you can really scale a facebook campaign with a smallish budget the other advantage of facebook over you know say like a google ad is going to be that you are relationship driven so you're building a list of people and you're getting in front of them over and over and over again so that they know that you're an option because as a small business owner if nobody knows that you exist then nobody's ever going to buy your stuff now some of the advantages of google include that you're only targeting that top three to five percent buyers list so the people who are actually coming through those leads are going to be people who are genuinely interesting interested in the service that you've got it's just a matter of whether you're going to get to them first and close them or is your competitor going to do it hopefully this gives you a clear understanding of why facebook versus google now which one is going to be the best one for you really depends on your situation in my opinion you should be omnipresence which means that you should be investing both in google and in facebook because a lot of those people that go to your google landing pages are not going to call and are not going to fill out the form and you can retarget those people with facebook ads and a lot of those people who go to your landing page you can reinforce and retarget them with facebook ads as well to be able to build a lot of that brand so you should be marrying both of these together in order to be able to have an omnipresence that can give you the biggest bang for your buck so hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot if you like it and it was informational give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one